Hello, I'm going to make a video on this uh, Talzin, um thermal or uh, pneumatic valve. It's this one right here, all right? 4V310-10, 12 volt. Uh, it's nice, it works guys, but the wiring is kind of messed up. So this is where we got it, right here. Alright, got the wiring. I got two switches over there. Those are the re those are the switches for back here for maintenance. And but they're gonna be hooked up in the tractor. And then there's a battery, the compressor, but the main thing about this video is it's gonna be that switch right there. So what so two position by port, I guess you would say, I think it is. That's what they got listed to. You have two vents, a supply, and two feeders. And then two positions give you one or the other, you feed out, and then the air comes out of the opposite one. But my main thing is this hook up here. All right, this hook up here. If you want the LED light to work in there, you have to hook it up right where the power runs through it the right way. And I've seen videos where you're supposed to look up the ground, but the ground is really like if you need to. But here, let me show you that LED light if you can see it. See that green light in there? And it shuts off when there's no power to it. Okay, so there's three positions on there to wire up to, which I can show you on the thermal block. Which is this. All right, this block comes up off to this. So let's run it back. One, two, ground on the bottom. So we had to hook it up. A lot of people were telling me on the videos, hook up the one for power, ground here. Now, we had to put power here and then ground here. Run it backwards because the LED light don't work any other way. And, and this setup and the one on the trailer is the way it works. So, I can tell you is I bought two because I've seen the reviews saying that sometimes they wear out or they won't work under pressure certain ones, but I'm glad I bought two because of this. Um, if I burn one out or anything something like that, I might have to put the ground on still, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll just grab it, plug it in both ways. If you put power up on one or two and then the ground, it doesn't do anything. But if you put power to one or two and then ground on the opposite, it works fine. So I don't know if this is grounding the housing or what it does. But either way, you need to fix that problem. Just mess around with the wires. Doesn't seem like it's only a, I think it's a magnet. It draws up a piece of metal to, to shift that, I think. But either way, you can fix that wiring. All right, thank you.